I said to follow us on Twitter because that's kind of where the action's happening right now. We had an exclusive on the direct podcast yesterday. That is right. Less than 24 hours from recording. We had an exclusive quote from David Corn Sweat, and it was received by our boy, the box office correspondent himself, the oracle of David Corn Sweat, David Thompson, Corn Sweat, and Thomas, the story of two Davids. David, what the hell happened last night? How did we get to where we are today? Dude, um, it was crazy. Um, so here's kind of how it went. Many of you might probably saw out there that he posted on an Instagram story. Hey, I'm going to be at this screening for the greatest hits. This new Hulu movie coming out. Very limited screens um, in theaters right now. Basically, it's in Atlanta, South Atlanta, near, I believe, where the studios are that he is filming Superman. So it makes sense. He's going to swing by to open up. Very nice guy. Totally didn't have to come and promote this movie. Like, it seemed very on his own accord. Like, hey, I'm going to go do this. Go out of my way. You know, kind of talk it up a little bit. You know, get some fans excited for it. Just very nice. And he was there for that movie. But, of course, I'm sure he anticipated some Superman fans being there. So, essentially, what happens is we go. We buy tickets. We get there early. Uh, We were actually the first ones in the theater. We were kind of walking around and got walked in there. Met another fan there. He was telling me how excited he was for Superman. I was wearing my Superman shirt, so it's pretty obvious like who I was there for and why I was there. Ooh. With that being said, and I always dress for the occasion. My mom always finds sure. it so funny. So like my Colts jersey and whatever shirt, my Spider-Man shirts, all those things. And, you know, it really worked out this time. So anyway, we're sitting around waiting. And the guy that was sitting next to me who I had been speaking to that was a fan, he had like gotten up and down a couple of times, going to get popcorn, go to the restroom. And one time he was gone for a little while and still plenty of time before the movie kicks off. He comes back and he sits down next to me and he goes, hey, man, he's out there and he's holding his comic book cover. And he's like, he's taking autographs, but he's not doing photos. So I beat we beeline it out there. I'm like telling Jasmine, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's out there. And so here's where the quote came from, which is an interesting story, because it wasn't when we were actually specifically talking. What happened was. I hop in line. There's only a couple of people in front of me. And he starts signing this one kid's uh, For All Seasons Superman cover. And they mention, oh, For All Seasons, that's awesome. So he says something like that. And the guy's like, yeah, 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 thank you so much. And, of course, me, five feet away, chimes in, hey, is it based on that? Just kidding. But I got his attention, and he kind of answers. And he's like, no, like, the vibes are very similar to this one and All-Star. But the story is totally its own thing. And I kind of, you know, backlogged that for a second for later when I would tweet out. But what happens next, which was my favorite personal part, it was amazing meeting him. It's my turn. Great handshake. I go, hey, hey I'm David, too. And yeah. that was the first thing that, that any, either of us said. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. Spelled the right way, right? And I'm like, yeah, D-A-V-I-D. And I'm like, how else would you spell it? I didn't say that, but I'm like, what? But it was cool. You and I go, have asked that. That's the more important question. How well, else you know what I thought? David? I was like, I should have asked trunks or no trunks. But, you know, it was a, it was a very just friendly interaction. Yeah, hit you. <laughs> By the way, it was really funny. You know, the um, he, so he was like kind of standing like this. Sure. And he was doing the like nurse, doctor, physical therapist dance where his legs were like wide. So yeah. he didn't even look Power as tall a. as he did. And then he goes to sign my shirt and he stands up like, oh, wow, you are a big Big dude. That, uh, people were asking that, like, is he as big as he seems? And I'm like, yes. Frame of reference for everybody listening who's never seen us, because why would you have? Um, David, how tall are you? 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. And David's like, yeah, big guy. Come on. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's no, a big he guy. Is, that's a big guy. <laughs> he is a big guy. Like, I felt, like, pretty small next to him. And anyway, what well, was really funny, and I just have to park on this. He was so genuinely nice. Like, he was so genuinely nice to me. But also what was really cool was I asked him to sign my my shirt because that was all I really had for him to sign. I wasn't really prepared, but it worked out great. And I have it over my shoulder. And he's like, yeah, he's like, he loved the idea. He's like, yeah, awesome. That sounds great. And what was really nice about him was he actually got Jasmine involved because she's kind of just standing to the side, like smiling and like knowing mm-hmm. this is like a big moment for me. And he looks at her and it's like, hey, so where should it go? And this was my favorite moment. She like points to like up here by my like collarbone shoulder. And we both, me and David, both look at her and like, 
no, it's got to go in the middle. And that's when he logo. slapped me like this in the chest. It's, it's got to go there. And I'm like, thank God you didn't just break my sternum. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it was so cool. Like he was just such a genuine guy. And that was like my biggest takeaway for someone who is taking over as Clark Kent Superman. Like you you couldn't have a more genuine, nice guy for my quick interaction. He signs it. I was the last person he talked to individually the last autograph the representative that was there was like hey it's time and david's kind of like all right you want to go watch this movie and i'm like yeah and then bolt into the the screening and uh he he said some words that i posted on twitter basically that you know uh, talking about his experience with the movie that he had made um he also mentioned i don't know if it was on the video he mentioned that he hadn't spoken in front of that many people since he was filming that movie like a year and a half ago which was kind of cool and yeah just a genuinely really great guy an amazing experience and such a cool full moment experience for me um especially like with this podcast having been talking about him since before pretty much anyone (laughs) on the internet and it's just really exciting and i mean if my hype wasn't high enough for superman in 2025 it's just through the roof now yeah, I mean, I mean, what a what a moment, what a story. Like I, I was um, I was watching what was I watching? Uh, me, me and Aaron were watching Notting Hill at all things, right? Um, and we're just hanging <laughs> out, we're doing whatever. Yeah. And, Sunday um, night. Huh. Sunday night. Sunday night, chilling. I popped on the main event for WrestleMania just to watch it. Yeah. And I see all this like David Corn sweat news. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. David's tagged at this stuff like this. He's <laughs> he's just going off. You know what I mean? He's just yeah. In the back. Because that's what you do. You get in your bag. And I didn't realize there was this actual interaction that you guys had. And that's amazing. And I'm yeah. so excited for you. And that's that's the kind of stuff that's going to lock you into this movie. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, um, we hope it's really good, right? This is your fucking movie now. You know, if it wasn't before, like, like your flag is here. And it's a great flag yeah. to get behind, my guy. I mean, it's Superman. It's James Gunn. And now we like the guy? Come on. I mean, that's... Love the guy. You can't beat it. By the you way... I gotta say the last thing on this, Jasmine's one one analysis, one uh commentary on the whole interaction was wow, he is so good looking. Yeah. Basically, that he is better looking than I even expected. And and he is, you know, he had the hat, he had this like classic look, like the hat and the like he had the Eagles sweatshirt on, like you couldn't yeah. really see his muscles, but uh they're definitely they're definitely under there. I can definitely say with a hundred percent certainty, he's a big guy and he's gonna make, I hope, a really great Superman. So he was hiding his muscles with oversized clothes. I feel like we're on the right track. I feel like we're on the right track. You know what I mean?